And again, the wind information and also the seas forecast, we'll have more of that this weekend as this thing progresses westward. No flood advisories in effect at this time. Again, we'll have more information on this over the weekend as this thing consolidates and continues westward. Once it becomes more of a forecast issue, right now we're still about five or six days out, uh, but we're gonna be seeing this thing progress. Current significant wave height is eight feet and that will grow significantly in the next couple days. So based on the current forecast track, we're looking at possible category three, category four, uh, intensity Tuesday. If you remember back to Typhoon Dolphin, that was a category one over most of Guam. Maximum intensity was category two. Um, this could be significantly greater. So category three damage, sustained winds 111 to 129 miles per hour with much higher gusts. Uh, that could cause severe damage to wooden structures, total destruction of structures made of light materials, and strong rip currents, 12 to 15 feet of coastal inundation, and heavy damage to vegetation. You need to be in a concrete shelter for this. On the higher category, category four damage. If we have more intensification in the next few days, we could be dealing with a category four intensity storm. Sustained winds, 130 to 156 miles per hour, gusts up to 165, or almost 200 mile per hour wind gusts. Total destruction of structures made of light materials, extensive damage to wooden structures, deadly rip currents, and coastal flooding. Again, we have to go back more than a decade <coughs> for a typhoon of this intensity. We're looking at worst conditions off the current forecast track to be Tuesday, September 11th. Um, do stay tuned for changes in the forecast, forecast track shifts either north or south. We can still see a little bit of wobble, but as I showed you earlier, the forecast tracks have been fairly steady. Um, that's good and bad. Uh, we could see more rapid intensification. That would be bad for us. We could be dealing with stronger than Category 4 storm. Erratic movement is always possible, but we don't expect it at this point because the forecast track has been steady the last several days in the models. Um, models have been pretty solid in their forecast tracks. Uh, if it is named, which will be tonight probably, it will be from Thailand, Mankut, for purple fruit. And I believe that's it, the end of this. Any questions about this? Well, what time Tuesday? Uh, we're looking at around midnight Tuesday night. We could still see a little bit of a uh, change depending on the forecast speed and motion. Uh, the CPA still looks like it's gonna be near Guam Tuesday night. <coughs> and again, we could still see a little bit of wobble in that forecast track based off of its uh, speed <coughs> and exact motion. You had a question? Yes, this is actually more for Colton. Yes. Um, the cores, well actually with for you as well. So we're still staying with the cores, we're not doing the home level situation. It's still remaining, it's still being classified as cores, right? Yes. Okay, sure. I wanted to make sure. And then um, shelters. We've been having a significant issue with the shelters. So we need to, are we going to do the tier one with DOE like we normally do or? Leo? If you don't mind, uh, maybe I can save that for the discussion after you can pull the mic off as well. Okay. okay. Hmm. Hold on, hold on. We'll just continue with the brief and then we'll take the mic off. Yeah, again, uh, about the core, I'm going to go back to our tropical storm watches and warnings. We do not have any watches and warnings for Guam and the Mariana Islands at this point. Only a tropical storm watch for Inuitak. Probably by Saturday, or excuse me, Sunday, you could see watches go into effect for the Mariana Islands. Uh, we set those watches for the onset of damaging winds, possible within 48 hours. So if we're still looking at a Tuesday evening approach, uh, we'll be seeing watches possibly Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. Uh, for preparedness reasons. A warning would be issued for damaging winds on set to arrive within 24 hours. So the, the, the rain? Um, we expect those to start filtering in probably Monday night, Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday does not look like a good day for us. Based on this current track, um, we're going to have a rough 9-11. Again, the good thing is we have plenty of time to prepare. Uh, unlike previous 
events where they develop almost on top of us or just east of us. This is well to the east, but that's the uh, catch. That's the catch right there because it has a lot of time to intensify, you know, to get its act together. Um, again, we could be dealing with a pretty uh, potentially serious situation in the Marianas. Any more questions? Airports, they close down? Um, it would be recommended, probably. <laughs> yeah, that's not our decision to make, okay. uh, but if we're looking at a, a, a close pass or a hit, definitely Tuesday afternoon. Okay. Airport doesn't close down. Flights just are the flights. Mm -hmm. But uh, airport 24 hours, and it depends on the velocity of the winds. If they can take off or land, they'll, they'll still operate. But as soon as the winds pick up, they'll, they'll close down. Um, I'm Roger Etz. I'm the science officer for the web service. I've been here. As uh, it's almost as long as Chip, but he always comes here and gives ev everything for you guys. But if you have any type of uh, meteorological questions, I'm here to to answer anything. Landon is 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 our guy that we're going to go with for doing the normal briefings, so uh, he, he he can handle most of most of the items. But if you have anything on the side, uh, I've been here through Pocket Punks and uh, and just before Omar, so seen him I've seen him all. <laughs> Yes. Can you tell how much rain you get? Oh, it's still too early, but we could see uh, flood advisories watches come out, uh, probably upwards of a half foot to a foot of rain. But really, it depends on how fast this thing wants to move through the area. <laughs> uh, we had a lot of the monsoon rains with, uh, I think it was uh, Typhoon Cimarron come through. We're not going to expect a lot of the monsoon. This is going to be more of a consolidated typhoon. So we're going to be dealing with most of those rains right there with that typhoon passage. Would the system, uh, when, when the system behave is as forecasted, uh, does you want system watch and warning? Yeah, we could be, if, if this track is pretty consistent the next few days, we could be looking at uh, typhoon watches and warnings, a watch Sunday and a warning on Monday. So you mentioned earlier the CPA game will be Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday night. Is that to say that it's going to go directly over the island? Well, the current track has it right over almost Jigo Anderson, but it's still, we're still about four days okay. out. Okay. So we could still see a little bit of wobble, but the models have been very consistent bringing it somewhere over the Mariana Islands uh, the last couple of days. But more to the north. That, That's the general trend. You can't, you can't really make that okay. conclusion. Okay. If you saw his track of the Model 8, some are actually mm -hmm. going south of the island.